Welcome. In front of me is a Honor 10X Lite and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this device. So to get started, uh, once you boot it up, you'll be presented with the welcome screen and all you need to do here is select your desired language. Now for me, it's already selected the correct one, but as you can see, you have a list full of languages that you can choose from. Once you select it, next page is just choosing your region. So select your region here. Then we have terms of use. Now, obviously we do need to agree to them. Uh, basically agree that you have read them and agree to those. So check this on and then you can go to the next page. Now you can also tap on details if you are interested in reading the end user license agreement. Now when you go to the next page, uh, here you can insert your SIM card. Now this step is completely optional and you can do it if you want to. If you don't, then you can skip this. Uh, it gives a little benefit. Um, so I'll skip it. Next page is connecting to Wi-Fi. So obviously you can connect to it if you have one near you that you actually know the password to. If you don't, you can connect or you can skip it as well. Now it gives us a couple information what uh, we won't be able I guess, to set up during the actual setup without Wi-Fi. So if there's something that you would like to add like uh, cloud storage, uh, find my phone or some health benefits. I believe this is just an application. I think all of those are just requiring the, yeah, the Huawei ID. So uh, what it tells you is that you won't be able to see the login screen and the account creation for uh, Huawei itself. And without that, you also won't have access to those till you actually log into it. Now, that being said, you can still do that after the setup is complete uh, through settings. So I'll skip it. And this takes me to the data privacy. Obviously, not much choice here. You just need to tap on next. You have uh, Huawei mobile services. Um, so we do have a couple different ones. We have some uh, settings for uh, odd ID statistics, which if I am correct, this is probably just the um, ads that are displayed based on your interest. So it just looks for what you're looking or what you're searching for and gives you ads based on it. Oh no, that's actually below, sorry, am I bad? So there we go, personalized ads below. Oh, personally, I, I hate the personalized ads, so um, let's disable it. Now, it is done here in every single way to confuse you, as you can see. Uh, we have disabled personalized ads, it's disabled, so you have to enable it to turn them off, which Anyway, a um, couple additional things like auto update and now you can go through each one of them and pick which ones you want and which ones you don't want and enable or disable them. Next page, we have just the protection of our device so we can set up a fingerprint, face recognition or pin pattern or password. Now that the first two ones at the top will always require a physical way of unlocking so that'd be pin pattern or password. Uh, but that doesn't go the other way around so you can only we can set up pin pattern or password and you are not required to have one of uh, those two above. I will set up a pattern just for this process here. So once you choose the uh, they call password, right? Yeah, set password. Even though it's not really a password, it's a pin. I uh, can choose an unlocking method right here and you have a choice between four digit, digit pin, uh, custom pin, which is what it is right now, pattern or password. I'll go with a pattern. So all you need to do is just input your method of unlocking. Uh, if it's pinned then put the numbers that you want, if it's pattern like I am, then draw the pattern. And then you need to repeat it once more. Click on done and this will set it up. Now it automatically goes to allowing you to add a fingerprint or face recognition, but I'll skip this. I have some enhanced services. Uh, you can read exactly what these are. If you don't like them, select no thanks or agree to them if you want them. Uh, and bunch of more things. Again, if you want them, enable it by joining or if you don't, select later. Share analytics, later. Uh, Huawei location services, later. Uh, keep your software up to date. And now we have the button here, enable and continue. Or we have a nicely hidden 
update manually in here in the text. So just gonna there we go. Then we have the option to import our data uh, from an old device. Now, if you're using a Huawei device uh, for this, and the application comes pre-installed, and all you need to do is open up. I believe it's called Phone Clone. Uh, if you're using a non Huawei or Honor device, you will need to go to either Play Store, assuming that it's still in the Play Store, and download it. So, once you download it, you can then pair up the devices and choose what you want to copy from your old device to this one. But I'll be setting it up as new, so I'm gonna set it up as a new device, and this completes the setup. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.